Hello guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can run local inference server on any LLM in your Windows laptop locally. You can use this video to run local inference on any EC2 instance in AWS Windows space or even in Google VM or anywhere in the cloud or even on the on-prem. The tool I'm going to use for this is called as LM Studio. I have already done a lot of videos on it and I'll drop the link in video's description for more detail. But just to give you a quick recap, if you want to use it, go to this website lmstudio.ai, click on download LM Studio for Windows and it will download it, open the file, and then you'll be presented with this screen. Now, for example, you want to go with the Zephyr model. So just search for Zephyr. And then from here on the right hand side download this model and then if you click on folder icon it will show you the downloaded models on your local system now we want to run an inference local server on this laptop on one of this model so by local inference server we mean that we want to give uh, we want to start running the large language model on this server or laptop and then we will give user an endpoint from there they can start chatting or asking uh, questions from this model. For that, click on this double-headed arrow, and then from here, start server. Now, once you start the server, make sure that you know the port. The port in this case is 1234. So make sure that if you are using your local laptop and if there's a Windows one, it is the port is open in the Windows firewall. And I will shortly show you how to do that if you don't know. And if you are using AWS EC2 server, then make sure it is open in security groups, the port 1234, and also similarly in other cloud providers or your local or external firewall. Now, when it comes to opening the firewall port in Windows, all you need to do is this. Here, just search for Microsoft Defender. And then uh, once this Windows Defender Firewall, oh, click on it and open it. And then click on Advanced Settings on the left-hand side. Once you will click on Advanced Settings, then this is the screen which will open with Advanced Security. Click on New Rule on the right-hand side. Click on Port, Next. Select the TCP specified local ports, one, two, three, four. And then Next, allow the connection. Next, allow Yes and just give it a name and finish and that will create the rule which will allow this port 1234 on your local system i already have done it so i will cancel it from here and now in lm studio you can see that my inference server is already running and ready to serve the traffic or questions or requests and you if you look at the top they already have given us a curl command to access this um, endpoint with this 1234 port and then we are passing it a prompt so let me show you how you can do it remotely uh, and how you can access it you can access it through curl you can do it through postman any restful api client you can use it to call this okay so let me show you this is my another virtual machine where i am using vs code in git bash i am using the same curl command to access that uh, remote server you can see the IP instead of localhost I'm putting in the IP of that server and I'm passing it this prompt so this should return us with the response from that model and you can just imagine now you can embed this in your code you can call that endpoint with any questions and so your users can talk remotely with this model within your own private network you don't have to install or download you know, for every user or you don't have to give them any public endpoint. All we are doing it, we are, uh, we have downloaded and installed the LLM on our local server. So let's wait for this to finish because I'm using it on my local laptop. So speed is a bit slow, but you can imagine if you have a beefy server with a lot of RAM, a lot of, uh, I mean, grunt, then this should be quicker. And of course it depends upon your network too. I'm just waiting for it to come back. My request is still running and if you look at the console of that LM Studio, it is showing you in the bottom half what it is doing. So it is still processing it and generating the response by predicting the next word. 
while it happens if you look at this curl command it also has some of the hyperparameters such as we have temperature which determines the randomness of the response if it is closer to one or one then it will be very creative and it will be different every time if it is closer to zero it will be definite and it won't change max token refers to the maximum number of tokens which the llm will generate as a response and token is a combination of characters or words in a sentence and then we are not streaming the response we are just producing it one time still running let's go back to our console so it is still working so let's wait for it to come back okay so it has uh, done by then friends and you can see on lm studio console in the logs that you have uh, it is saying that my name is maria and i'm a rising senior in high school it has just assumed something randomly anyway so let's go back to our uh, remote server where we called it there you go it's the same response my name is maria and i'm rising senior in high school and i live in the beautiful state of california and blah 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 so you can see that um, it's the same response which we saw in our lm studio amazing stuff uh, the sky is the limit here and you can see that you can do a lot of things with this inference server and um, this is available for windows at the moment but uh, they have also released i believe a beta version for linux which i will be doing uh, videos on very soon as soon as i have access to it so please stay tuned and one uh, last couple of things I wanted to mention is that if you want to change the hyperparameters for these models, you can um, go to this LM Studio on the right hand side. You can see that you can play around with the model configuration, such as this. You can uh, play around with model initialization, your hardware settings. If you want to set them, you can even export it to JSON and you can even load them from the file and you can revert them back to the defaults that you and on the left hand side you can see that there is an option of enabling the server logging which is always a great idea and this is the location which is temp lm studio server log dot txt where it is storing the logs and i just opened up the logs for you um, so that you could you know uh, see it and if you want to troubleshoot anything such as if for example if you are not receiving the response and if you want to see what is happening such as where i did the typo and it gave me the error and then i uh, use the correct one so maybe if you are using the get function where it should be the post function in my case then you should be able to see it from here so these logs are very very handy and it is it produces a lot of, of verbose uh, output which is very very handy to um, debug so this is it guys i hope that you enjoyed it and found it interesting if you have any questions or comments please share them and if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel thank you very much